Hello everyone. So this evening I'm going to read to you a book called Raffarella. As you can see, this book is very well worn and very well read. So Raffarella is about a dog called Raff whose owner, Diamante, is lonely and decides she wants to turn Raffarella or Ruff into a human and names her Raffarella. Now, Raffarella has the most amazing gift, which you find out about in this book. So, I hope you enjoy listening to the story. It's great fun. Raffarella by Vanessa Gill Brown and Mandy Stanley. Dear Monty loved stories and her most favourite was Cinderella. She liked to imagine that she was the fairy godmother, the one who made things happen. She desperately wanted to turn something into something. Hmm, but what? One day, her eyes rested on Ruff, her dog. Aha! She would turn her dog into, into a human into a Raffarella. How about it, Ruff? she exclaimed. Uh? Want to be a girl? Uh -huh. Ruff didn't fancy being a human much, but dear Monty could be very convincing, and soon Ruff was sure it was all trifle and telly in the human world. But how would it happen? They didn't even have a magic wand. Oh, I don't need one of those, said dear Monty confidently. I'll teach you how to be a human. It isn't difficult. I do it all the time without even thinking. Uh -huh. So the lessons began. First, dear Monty dressed rough in human clothes, mm. did her hair in a human style and applied some human makeup. Mm, there you go. There, she squealed. At least you look like a real girl now and you shall be called Raffarella. Next, Raffarella learnt how to eat with a knife and fork, drink from a cup and how to cough <laughs> and sneeze achoo, politely. Dear Monty also tried to explain about not taking all the chocolate biscuits for yourself, but Raffarella found this aspect of being a human very difficult to swallow, <laughs> unlike the chocolate biscuits. Look at it her way, finally allowed to eat human treats and she was supposed to let others choose first. <gasps> Sausages in particular would have posed a problem. Oh, Ruff loved those more than anything. Oh, sausages. Oh. Dear Monty decided to show, off, show her off at a friend's birthday party. <gasps> you shall go to the ball, Raffarella. Well, Penny's party anyway, but you mustn't let anyone know that you're really a dog, okay? <coughs> Raffarella was a bit nervous, but she didn't need to. Oh, she danced, played games, drank pop, ate cake, and all without spilling a drop or a crumb, she even sang Happy Birthday to Penny. Oh, to everyone's delight, she had the most beautiful deep voice anyone at the party had ever heard. Oh, what a wonderful voice this girl has. She should be on the telly. <laughs> After that, she was invited to sing at other people's parties. Then in theatres, when crowds came to hear the amazingly sweet, low voice of little Raffarilla. <coughs> and eventually, she did sing on TV. Dear Monty always went with her, but she couldn't help feeling a little bit left out. <sighs> there was no time for playing football or rolling around on the carpet like they used to. Still, it was fun being Raffarella's assistant. One day, among the usual heap of posts for Raffarella, a very special invitation came. Dear Monty opened it. Oh, it's from the Queen. She saw you on telly and wants you and a guest to attend a ball at the palace. Oh, you really are, Raffarella. Splendid, said Raffarella. So, Dear Monty replied to the Queen accepting her kind invitation and they both set about getting new dresses and hairdos. 
The ball was wonderful. Oh, everything was bright and sparkling and beautiful. Everyone wanted to dance with Rufferella and compliment her on her charming and unusual singing voice. Then they were escorted to the dining room. Oh. Rufferella was a bit worried. Dear Monty was miles away. She'd never been totally on her own before and oh, she was hungry. And the prince next to her was just a teeny bit stupid and boring and oh, that dress was just a little bit tight. She wondered what was for dinner. She watched as the queen was served. It was sausages. <gasps> sausages! <laughs> Rufferilla took one look and leapt onto the table. <gasps> sausages! <gasps> Bounding towards the queen. <gasps> sausages! Rufferella landed on the queen's plate and began wolfing the delicious, juicy sausages. <laughs> oh, good heavens! She's a dog! Rufferella is a dog! No wonder she has such an unusual singing voice! Catch her! exclaimed the people. Then Rufferella took another flying leap, this time landing on dear Monty's arms. <gasps> Together they ran out of the palace and all the way home. <gasps> Next morning, there was less post than usual. <sighs> but there was a parcel for Rufferella. Oh, she was feeling so miserable and really didn't want to look at it. So dear Monty opened it and took out something hard wrapped in tissue. There was a note with it which read, Dear Rufferella, please do not worry about the unfortunate events at the ball. Sausages are very hard to resist after all. A little piece of royal advice. One is often best off if one allows one to be oneself. By this, I mean that while I make a reasonable job of being queen, I should make a pig's ear of being a pop star. Take care, dear queen. Oh, dear Monty unwrapped the item. Oh, it's a dog bowl, she cried. Arr. Rufferella was so pleased that a tear came to her eye. Can I use it? She asked. Mm, if it's all the same with you, I think I'll give up being a human in my singing career. Mm, it's just not me. Oh, Good, replied dear Monty. I really miss having you as my pet. <coughs> Ruff smiled and said, No more Rufferella? <gasps> no more Rufferella, agreed dear Monty. Fancy a trip to the park to play with the old bowl? Ruff, <coughs> asked dear Monty. Ruff, <coughs> Ruff yelped in agreement and off they went. <gasps> Everything was back to normal. The end.